Okay, so in this video, uh, I would like to actually integrate server SEO and uh, Jarvis and just to do a demo here because I got a writer's block. I don't know what to write. So thank God I've got, I've got server SEO who basically has helped me come up with various contents. Now, how I do is that I've actually earlier on searched for this keyword called stay focused. Now, part of the deal that I'm looking for is staying focused can be how to be present, how to get things done, how to be able to improve the productivity, and of course, part and parcel. Now, I don't whether, I'm not sure whether you agree with that. Uh, that's what we call time management. Now, I know some people don't like the word time management because time can't be managed. Okay, but for the purpose of SEO, it doesn't matter what you think. It matters what people search for. So I've actually got time management skill here and the search volume is 12.5. Now how I do that is I use stay focused as a keyword search on the content planner. And of course, what server does is to give me various potential topics that I can write. Now this actually helped me to remove what I always call the writer's block. I don't know what to write, so what do I do? Well, find a keyword or keywords, the cluster keywords, and you can have tons of contents. Of course, question is that I would not want to go to ADHD study tips because that's not my target audience. I do not want another article on goal setting because there are plenty. And partly because you look at the search volume is 450, 420. I'm not that interested because the search volume is low. All right. So when I look at time management skill, which is here, 12.5K, which is cool. So what I did is that I actually asked I ask, um, I ask server SEO, okay, to let me know what I can do with these uh, keywords, time management skill. And there you go. This is what I've got. Okay, so once I open up, I will first of all look at a couple of things. Now, of course, if I put time management skill here, this is on servers, by the way, you do see that my SEO score will come up immediately that you can see from 1 to 20. If you missed that, let me just show you one more time. Okay, this is one, one, two, three. I type time management skill is immediately up to 20. Now, why is that so? Let's look at this. Because based on the server SEO, they said that while we, have, we need to have headings, and headings should be 36 to 64 because this is a very popular keyword, and hence the words required to, to meet the SEO criteria is about 3,000 to 3,400 words. That's quite a lot, actually. So in terms of headings, you see that what they want, they want time management skills, time management tips, time management, important tasks, and to-do list. Well, you, you have, if you're an expert of this topic, you do know, well, these are potentially the keywords you use for heading. So I'm cool with that. Now, another thing is that I like to focus on the NLP, the natural, language process NLP, which is the which is which is what we use for to identify the keywords that will be you will be using throughout the uh, throughout the this piece of content. Now, of course, at this stage, we are done with server SEO because like, I need to start cracking the content. Okay, server SEO doesn't do that. So what do I do? Now I will move this time management skill over to Jarvis. So let's move on. Let's create a template. Now I can start from scratch. Again, I can create a blog post based on something like this. Write a blog post okay, about time management skill and let Jarvis comes up with the content. Okay, so you have watched my videos before. This is no, not, it's nothing new. All right, so let's see 10 business tips to increase your productivity, time management skill. Uh, I don't mind anything right now because I can always change it later. Because remember the heading suggested by SEO, server SEO. So I may just click this one, okay? And then the intro, I'll let Jarvis do the intro first. I'm not so worried about whether it's good intro or what. At this point, I will just leave it as it is. Okay, so it gives me three version. So let's see what we can do. Uh, well, I'll just use the first one. Again, don't worry about it. Because I just want to kickstart with Jarvis 
and you see we have got time management skill. Just now you remember I have time management skill, time management skills as the heading as the title to this article. So it means that this is actually quite good. So what is the SEO score right now? Let us turn on SEO mode and see what it says. Would that be 20? I don't know. Let's see. So I'm actually recording this on the spot. And obviously, I don't know what you what it looks like. So it says time management skill seven right now. And let's see why that is the case. Now, because number one, don't forget, let me turn on to the focus mode. I forgot to put this title on the article. Make it to H1. So now the SEO score should go up. Still seven. Okay, never mind. Let's see. Um, would that be because I've got ah, so the word 10, 10 time management skills, actually the 10 borders the title. Is that true? No, it's not. It's actually okay. 10 time management skills to increase productivity. Okay, so let me move myself somewhere first. Let me see where I can move. I move here. Okay, I may move here because I want to see the the, the menu. Okay, so once again, what I do is I'll turn on NLP. Okay, I just remind myself these are the headers. I've got time management, I've got time management skills, I've got time management tips, important tasks and to-do list. Next, what do I do? Let me move down. So the next thing I do, if you watch my video previously, I know that the, public, the video was pretty popular. Okay, that's good. I, I'm glad that you like it. I'll make sure you subscribe to my channel so that you can get more of this on the spot case studies, which I'm using Jarvis and Server SEO to integrate together and come up with an article. Okay, so let's talk about brief. Remember, I use H1, H2, and H3, and let's see what it gets. H1, 10 tips for managing time effectively. I think my title is better than his, not because he's bad, mine is better, is because mine is SEO. Is based on SEO recommendation. Okay, ten tips for managing time at work. Okay, so yeah, I mean, I, I kind of like this. What I do is that I'll copy this first. Okay, as usual, I'm not going to construct the article or edit the article right now. All I do is I just plonk the contents from SEO server SEO to help me build the outline. Okay, so that is my thought process. I'm actually getting better now because it's been like almost one month that I've been using server SEO. So usually for H1, I'll just glance through these suggestions and I'll just pick one. I just pick one. H1, I just need to pick one because the key is actually on H2. You see H2, there are some suggestions of the outline. So in terms of time management, one of the things is of course the, power ties, uh, the principle of priority. So I may want to put this first. Now again, I don't, I'm not worried about the content. I just plonk in the, what we call the, 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 the headline first. Focus on how you spend your time. Yeah, that is good. You see, I put it in first. And then to-do list, well, this is important because it's also one of the things that we, uh, Service SEO recommended when it comes to the, the heading, okay? To-do list. Okay, so that's good. What else? So I see priority a few times. Assign limits to tasks. That might be one. I don't know. Let's just put it here first. And then set the time limit for each task. Isn't it important? So you want to know that, okay, I will spend 15 minutes, 30 minutes to a particular task. Follow 80-20 Pareto principle. Yep, I like this too. And then learn to delegate and outsource. Isn't it important? Right? You don't do things that you, are, you feel weak, right? Uh, a brief guide to time management. That might be the opening. So... Again, it really depends on whether you uh, you know your topic well. If you know your topic well, then perhaps you can tell immediately. This is the introduction. This is the uh, the the beginning. This is the end, or this is just the body. Use software. Wow, this is good. I love that. Okay, so I put it here first. Okay, and then what else? What is time management? Is it important as a as the at the beginning? What is time management? Why is that important? Like. All my articles start with this framework, what, why, and how, okay? Learn to say no. Is it important too? So yes, I put it here, okay? So what I'm going to do is 
I want to count how many tips I've got. I've got 10, right? So 10 tips. So what are the 10s? Power ties. Find how you spend the time to do these three. Assign the time limits for. Assign and set the time limits should be the same, right? So it's four. Follow 80 20 rule is five. Learn to delegate six. Software seven. Learn to say no. Eight. I need two more. Okay, so what else can I say? What else can I do? Create time management goal. Yep. So this is one tip. This is actually the beginning, right? What is your goal, right? So let me put it here. That could be nine. Okay. Let's see what else. Uh, create a schedule and see to it. Yep. This is the one. I love it. Okay. This one, put it in first. And let's email me this question. Wow, this is so important. Okay. I'll put it here first. Don't worry. I will arrange the order later on. Eliminate hard work that can comes that can come under here as well. Elimination, eliminate distraction, avoid perversion. Isn't it important? Now, how many of you realize then at this stage I have not even crafted the article at all? I've already got like 10 tips. Like you can ask Jarvis to 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 com, com, you can use command J to come up with your own wording and or ask Jarvis to do it. However, what I found is when you have SEO, server SEO integrated into Jarvis, you is actually, you will be better off using server SEO's recommendation. Now I'm done with H2. I'm happy. Of course, there are quite a lot, right? Let me just glance through H3. Ah, this is cool, man. Parkinson law, isn't it important? I mean, if you don't know what Parkinson law is, please Google this term. This is a very important principle of productivity. Okay, Eisenhower matrix. Now, if you don't know what Eisenhower matrix, basically it's what Stephen Coffey said, the principle of priority, doing things that is important, not urgent. So Eisenhower matrix is actually the background for that. Okay, part pickle jar theory. Uh, this one, I, I don't know yet, but I just put it in. So you see on H3, there are quite a lot of things you can use. Pareto analysis, I've seen 80-20. Right, just now I've got 80 20 here. I'll put it here first again. Don't worry about exactly how it looks like. Eat the flawed technique. Wow, this is damn, this is so good. <laughs> okay, I'll put it here first. You see, this article is like I'm full of content and I'm now into only 12 13 minutes. I'm not even 30 minutes yet. Oh my god, you see, uh, rapid planning method. Okay, let me just put it here first. There's a planning focus on how you spend your time. Okay, let me put it here first. Okay, so roughly I know these are the things that I need to cover. And okay, let's do a stock take. Where are we right now? Coming back to the guideline, I'm now 46. I'm now at 46. Now, one thing I like to use for, uh, I like to use, uh, maybe it's one function I like, that is I will I put it here. Okay, I click these two dots, terms visibility. I always love to just check off the optimized terms. The terms that have already been optimized, that will be removed here. So now you can see that I've got some of these terms, some of these keywords and key phrases. I have not used it or have not used enough. Okay, I have not got anyone that is overused. Okay, so this is cool. Now the wordings right now, the recommended wordings is between 3K to 3.4. Just plunk all this in. I've already got like 2,000 words. Okay. Heading 22. Uh, recommended is 36 to 64. Uh, I need some images, of course. Paragraphs, I need 81. So now you see by using the, by using server SEO and then Jarvis together in the first few minutes. Okay. Few minutes. I don't know like how should I explain it. It's now into 14 minutes to this video. You do realize that I've already achieved the SEO score to 46. Now, this keyword, final, first of all, you go back to the keyword here. This keyword is pretty searchable. It's 12.5K. So my experience is this. If you have got such a high search volumes, your article would tend to be longer and it is quite hard to achieve the green screen zone compared to others. Like I've created one article on positivity like that is a bloodily long article and that I was able to achieve 78. Okay. I did another one called copy in present and I was able to achieve 71. I just want to showcase this particular one, how to get things done. This is like, no matter what I do, it is very hard to push the score up to even 50 mark. 
So I'm saying that this method of focusing on H1, H2, and H3 on server SEO to generate the skeleton or the outline of your articles work most of the time. However, there will still be some work required. Now, what is the thing that I have to do to push this go up? Number one, focus on what we call focus on these keywords. So while you are actually editing your editing your article right now, like I'm now into the point of into this moment called editing the article, there are a couple of things I need to know. First of all, I want to glance through these list. Like, of course, it doesn't require me to memorize every single thing. All I'm saying is that I glance through this list and I just have a put a mental note here. Okay, when it comes to a particular paragraph or paragraphs, I need to know these are the keywords. And in case you cannot remember this, let's say what is time management. Okay, what are the keywords that I can use? All I do is that I move my mouse here under the search bar in time. And you know, oh my God, that these are the keywords. So let me move up first. These are the keywords that you can see. Time what? Okay. If you like time management, you can just type time management and see what pops up. You see, you have got time management tips, time man management tools, techniques, poor time management, good time management skills. Now, these are the words that you will use if you are using time management. Okay. So what I'm saying is that you can actually use this particular function to remind you what are the keywords that you need to add. Now, remember, SEO is not about using these key phrases or keywords for the sake of using them. It is just to make sure that uh, Google will recognize these keywords and give you a higher ranking. At the end of the day, it is very important for you to make sure that your article flows like a human being writing the article. Okay, so sometimes what I do is that even though this is just the introduction, this is a tip that I can share. Now, the first thing is that what Jarvis has done is with so many distractions in the today's world, it is easy to get sidetracked and lose focus. This can, this can lead to a lack of productivity and decreased earnings. Hmm, who will be saying this? Businessman. Okay, fortunately, there are some time management skills that you can use to increase your productivity and make you more money. Who is who is that? Business people, right? In this post, I will turn it to in this article because I'm writing article. It's something that I always love to change. In this article, uh, we will discuss 10 different uh, time management skills that will help you become more productive and successful in your career. So you see uh, here, I've got something, one paragraph, this is another paragraph. You can actually ask Jarvis to rephrase it okay i like to begin to use more rephrase rather than content improver because i've been using Jarvis for seven weeks and right now the rephrase function actually serves me very well for example sometimes when i want to rephrase a paragraph all i need is just to click rephrase and i'm done in case sometimes it comes to some highly technical topics then yes, I do want to use the explain to the fifth grader so that the sentences become shortened. One paragraph instead of four lines that becomes three lines. Now, that is a choice. It depends on your topic, of course. I mean, I understand that. Okay, so what I do is that I want to retain this and I want to make sure that every time when I'm writing, I'll have Jarvis do the editing by rephrasing the paragraph. And this is just a habit that I have. Um, I won't say in your job, in your business, because I'm talking to business people, all right? And see, and see what happened, okay? So, to, so that is how I do the introduction. Now, when I'm writing an article, especially this is informative article, what is informative as you can go, as you go back to content planner, oh sorry, information, no, not informative, I apologize for that. So information, no, so I like to define certain keywords. I like to define certain keywords so you, you can see that what is time management. So I like to, first of all, what is time management? And then I'll ask Jarvis to do two things. One, I can ask Jarvis to continue this. Okay, what happened is that I can ask Jarvis to continue this by inserting command J or control J. But before that, I want to do a three asterisk first. And then I will do it that way. Okay, so I will do this and see what comes up. 
Okay, so you see immediately I've got the benefits of time management. So if this is not what I'm looking for, one technique that I can share with you is uh, I, will, I, I use this also. It's called Jarvis. Please explain what time management is. Now you need Jarvis to you need to practice with Jarvis for a while so that Jarvis actually knows what you want. So you see that here. I've got one sentence, and what I do is that I just highlight this, and I key in, I just enter this command called Control Enter, or if you are using a map like me, that is Command Enter. Okay, so this is how it works. So who knows Java's will come up something that is cool. So you see Java's has come up with time management is that blah 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 blah. At this stage, you can then ask Java's to continue writing. Now I should have mentioned. I should have mentioned that every time when you set Java's from start for from a start, uh, the automatic def the default mode is medium. So just remember to change to L, okay? And then I'll just do this again because by switching L, Java's is able to look back uh, more more words as you can remember. If you are if you are not sure, uh, the bootcamp actually explain the differences between S M and L. Okay, so I'm not here. Uh, regurgitating the information, you can actually look at the um, the the. We can actually check out the bootcamp, which is available in Jarvis, and you can actually study the differences between S M and L. Okay, so now what you have gotten is that a few more paragraphs. So if you're happy, then all you do is that you just use the rephrase button every time when Jarvis came up with something. I like to use rephrase button just to see whether I can make it better. Of course, please remember in my earlier video, I said one thing Java's cannot do or cannot be replaced is your eyeballs on editing and see whether the contents make any sense, whether the contents is backed up by correct or accurate facts and information. Java's can never be replaced, and Java's will not know whether the information is accurate, whether this is what you want. So remember, do the fact checking, and make sure that it is it syncs in with your preferences and your personality. This is very important. So it's now twenty two minutes into this video, and I'm going to pause it, and I'm going to continue by putting. I mean, doing my editing process, I will make this article a complete article. After this, I can publish it on my website, on LinkedIn, on Medium. Okay, so I. Do hope that this article, uh, this uh, video serves you, help you understand how you can integrate SEO or server SEO uh, into Java's to make your life much, much, much easier. Okay, so please remember if you have any questions, please comment below. If you want to check out Java's and server SEO, please look for the description. I have the links there for you to check out. For Java's for server SEO, you can actually have free trial before you pay for it. And once again, remember to subscribe to my channel uh, so that you can check out all the videos I've done for Jarvis and Server SEO. Okay, so thanks for watching very much. Thank you very much for watching this video, and I love to serve you another time. This is Jack Wong. I'm signing off now. All good wishes.